sports has played a big role in my life. My dad was a high school coach. He was a teacher in Wilmington, Delaware, so I was constantly around the sports scene with him as a little boy growing up. And then he took me to my first Major League Baseball game. We went to Philadelphia to see a doubleheader between the A's and the Cleveland Indians in 1947. I had just turned seven. And that was a turning point in my life. I fell in love with baseball, the sights and the sounds and the smell of the game, and, and then was introduced to basketball and football as a kid growing up. I played all the sports through high school and uh, then went to Wake Forest to play baseball. I was a catcher and uh, spent my four years there in school and uh, caught for the baseball team. And upon graduation, I got into pro sports, spent seven years in the Phillies organization as a minor league catcher and then in the front office. And then that led to opportunities in the front office in the NBA where I've been now for almost 50 years. So I would say that my life has been uh, revolved around sports from the time I was a little boy. And uh, that has been you know, the, the uh, focus of my life. It's what drives me. And I've been very fortunate to be able to make my living in a profession that, well, I probably pay them to let me just hang around, you know, so sports is a big deal in my life. Well, faith has been a big part of my life. I grew up in a church going home. And my mother took me to church and Sunday school every Sunday. and. Then I ended up at a Baptist college at Wake Forest, but really my faith became very real to me at age 27. I was running the Phillies minor league ball club in Spartanburg, South Carolina, uh, seeking success in my field, but uh, really trying to find myself and find my roots and what really was important in life. The claims of Christ were presented to me in a number of different ways. And I, I realized at some point I was going to have to make a decision uh, to become a follower of Jesus. And so at the age of 27, I made that decision. It was a life changer for me. Uh, everything radically changed in my life when I became a Christian and uh, became a follower of Christ. And that was uh, really an important moment in my life. I was 27, as I mentioned, so if my math is right, you know, that's uh, almost 50 years ago. So uh, the Lord has been very good to me, very faithful to me, uh, seen me through some rough times, uh, but I really have uh, had a major, major change when, when Jesus became real to me and I made a decision to accept him. Well, they've come together very quickly. I remember uh, when I was uh, just be starting to walk and become a Christian, young Christian, uh, it occurred to me that uh, we live in a sports crazy nation, you know, a nation where sports kind of uh, determines people's outlook on life and their happiness, and whether they're having a good week or not. They're crazy about their teams and their athletes. And uh, then it occurred to me that uh, athletes are being called upon uh, to sell and endorse every product in the world. Uh, why not the Christian faith? So very early in my walk with the Lord, I was introduced to the work of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Uh, I played a role in bringing a chapter of that organization to Spartanburg. And, uh, and, and as I moved on, uh, the FCA was always there. I, my, you're in Philadelphia, I was very involved. And then when we went to Chicago in 1969 to be the GM of the Bulls, there was no FCA work there, but uh, we had a huge, huge amount of work to do and brought an FCA chapter to Chicago, which is still very vital. I remember my one year in Atlanta wor working very closely there and then back to Philadelphia in 1974. And for many, many years, we were deeply involved with the FCA and what was going on there. And of course, FCA in Orlando has been very strong over the years. Uh, they've got a number of chapters here and it's been a, a vital work. So this whole uh, link, this whole marriage between sports and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes is real, it's meaningful. It has an enormous impact 
you know, across this nation and beyond. And so I've been very privileged to be part of that over the years. Well, when I have an opportunity to talk and share my life with the young people of America, uh, I tell them a number of uh, things. First of all, uh, make sure you're getting a good education. Uh, it's so important, and uh, as you prepare to go to college, you want to be in the driver's seat uh, where you can determine where you end up, and a lot of that's going to hinge on how well you do in school. That's awfully important. And if you're a young athlete, take sports seriously. It opens many doors for you. You're going to meet people that will be friends the rest of your life. Uh, you're going to learn about teamwork. You're going to learn about commitment. You're going to learn about uh, respect. Uh, you're going to learn about how to get along with authority uh, in, the, in the person of coaches. So it's awfully important to be, have your eyes wide open. Yeah, we want you to do well in sports, but there's so many lessons to learn. And then don't neglect the faith part of your life. You know, you can have all the success you want as an educated young man or a young woman, as a terrific young athlete. But uh, when Christ comes into your life, you really have a reason for living. You really have a purpose in life. Uh, you'll understand that God didn't just dump you down here uh, without any reason at all. There's really a meaning to, to your life. And so when Christ comes in, he fills that gap in your life. He gives you a real sense of direction. And uh, you can be a complete person. So those are just some thoughts that I have to young people today. I've shared those messages many times. I've shared them with my own children and grandchildren. And uh, I hope you'll take those little tips from an old timer here and uh, apply them in your life.